came into that second game with that first half bat? Uh, yeah, I just got a chance to hit today. But uh, really, Austin Sexton went out there and threw a gym on the mound. He went out there and pounded the zone. Defense played a great game. So, I mean, they, they really set the table for us. Whether it was you or Austin or Gavin in the first game, you know, how cool was it to have kind of the freshman lead the way today and, and, and lead you guys to shoot victory? It's definitely fun to be able to go out there and, I don't know, at least have a role or something, you know, on the team, just knowing, kind of knowing your role is. Sometimes I know that I'm not going to be out there every day and, um, if my, if my number gets called, I just got to try to be focused and try to go in there. And um, if anybody went up there to get that pinch hit, no matter who it was on our team, they were going to get the job done. What's going through your mind when you step to the plate in that situation? Uh, just middle of the field. Um, try not to get too big and just, I mean, single is really the first thing in my mind. I'm not trying to do anything more than that. Did you think it was through when you first made contact? It was close play. Um, I was hoping it was through. Um, the guy made a heck of a play, and it just worked out for the best, I guess. What would you see on that? What were you looking for? Uh, really the same thing, just trying to stay in the middle of the field and just, I guess, ran into one. So. What would uh, you see on that pitch? What, what pitch did you get on that? Uh, that was actually a fastball. Did you know it was gone as soon as contact? I did not. Um, I just, like I said, just trying to look in the middle of the field and just ended up finding the barrel, I guess. Have you ever had back-to-back -back swings like that in your I mean, career? Not, not very long career, but I mean... Um, honestly, I, I don't even know. Um, I just know that um, it was fun going out there with those guys today and just kind of battling and, and you know, just kind of playing Mississippi State baseball, you know. Not going out there, just we, we threw the first punch, I guess, and just playing as brothers and just as a team. What have you the offense since the previous weekend? You had two good midweek games. You seem to have picked up with the time they're hitting or piling it up. Um, yeah, like I said, those guys make it a lot easier in there. Um, they all go out there, and every single one of those guys in the dugout, no matter who Coach Cohen calls on, is going to get the job done. So that just kind of makes it easier on it. everybody, the pitchers, the defense. Everybody knows that everybody's going to pick each other up. What did it feel like getting mobbed by your team after game one? Oh, it felt great. I, mean, <laughs> I never, never expected myself to kind of get in that situation, but it was definitely awesome. Which felt better, the home run or the walk off? They were both fun. <laughs> now, Kyle was talking to us, I guess, yesterday. You were signing some autographs, and you were like, man, if I could just get in the game, I could show them. You know, I could get my own thing. How does it feel to finally get your opportunity? Uh, I'm just happy to be able to do something for the team. And Like I said, I just have to know my role and just know, try not to do too much. When, obviously, you have the home run, you have the, the, the walk-off, two double plays, the game is humbling. How do you, you know, you keep going forward? The game is very humbling. You know, just gotta keep, just keep fighting. Those guys um, do a great job of going out there and picking me up. I mean, I hit into two double plays, and nobody wants to do that. I know I'm not the best runner on the team, but we've got guys that always come behind and pick each other up. So.